right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahavashai, Bahashem Rakakadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be another quick lesson uh, here this morning. And um, as you see the title, Kanye talks about profiting off a of Sunday service ahead of who they call Jesus is King album, you know, this King album release, you know, and um, this guy Kanye, man, <clears throat> he swear he's um, uh, who the world calls Jesus, and which Jesus really goes back to Serapis Christus and uh, also uh, Cedric Bourget from the Bourget family, all right, this uh, image of you know. The so-called Messiah. This, this, I would say this other Jesus, because this is not okay. Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, and who you image him, and and um, you image him in your mind from being taught from Christianity, these government churches, is the wrong image. Okay, the real name of the Lord, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, and he was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. All right. And um, it tells you in Isaiah 53, he wasn't uh, 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 comely, meaning he wasn't this uh, beautiful man that, you know, everybody should be admired and, and, and you know, handsome mama's boy. The Lord was rough. The scriptures say he was an austere man. But, you know, I was listening. I didn't really all the way watch. I was listening to the point um, to see what was the matter. Uh, excuse me. What was the actual point of this whole subject? And um, you know, I ain't finished watching the video, but I stopped it where I stopped it at, and I just clicked, you know, the record button to talk, to speak, to prophesize, to edify, you know. And um, you know, one thing that Charlemagne said, Charlemagne said that um, that he don't believe Kanye West is profiting off the churches. You know, because he said he would never talk about a guy that's going his spiritual journey. Hey, these um, radio hosts and these guys that control your radios, you know, well, you know, they're your spokesman for the music. They're your spokesman for politics. They are, these guys are the worst guys that ever to be having a mic, you know, because they don't speak truth. They speak whatever the people want to hear, you know, and they try to play on the safe side as uh you know no one really has an answer and they put they put their uh feelings and emotions out there and project it upon the people you know and their opinions when their opinions are not facts you know that dude Charlemagne, he's something else you know sometimes he say something good then a lot of times he's saying a whole bunch of bullshit you know and his whole ideology and how he think the world's supposed to work and here it is he's a radio host you know so he's talking to people every morning. People are listening and people are actually are following because that hip hop shit, well, this hip hop shit is, is destroyed you Jakes, man. And then they try to say that the music has nothing to do with Jake. It's the Stockholm Syndrome. No, it's not. It's the music, man. The music plays a major part in the, uh, in slavery today, in modern day slavery for Jake, man. You know, you stupid ass rappers are not leaders, but to, to two thirds you are. And that's why they look up to you. Then rappers say, "Oh, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, um, what's that word? They, um, uh, fuck, what they say? I'm not, um, I'm not a, uh, shit. What was that word? Uh, I'm not a, uh, damn, I can't think of it. Uh, I'm not a, um, damn, basically like somebody to look up to, you know? So." So they don't want to take the blame for all of the uh, blood that they have out here with Jake following them, listening to them and doing what they say in these songs, you know. But uh, anyway, back to the subject, um, you know, this guy, Kanye, he is profiting off the Lord. <laughs> Excuse me. And what he's doing is trying to revive the churches because why the, the Christian, the so-called Christians, OK, Christianity, you know, which is plantation slavery doctrine from Esau to love your own oppressor, the one that slaved you and kicked in your back, okay? To me, you know, it looks like he's trying to revive them because they're dying. 
the churches is dead. The government churches are dead, man. Okay? And they need a revival. They're hoping for a revival. Let me say that. They're hoping for one. And Kanye, you know, is profiting, making money off this shit. And they and they idol worshiping this man as if, you know, he is a god. You know, he's the same guy that uh said a couple of years ago in the studio when he was being interviewed that he said that the the, the rappers are prophets and what they speak is prophecy and you know he is a god and he has the nerve to uh, adopt this um you know that name jesus and change it to jesus you know and wants to be worshiped like he was fucking who they call jesus man well first off you're not yahweh shy and number two okay you're just a man a stupid man all right you know you know a man that sold his soul man you know Jake, Jake don't know what genius is. They call this man a genius because he's able to uh, make music for mo for 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 uh, different people out here, and you know, and they different spirits. You know, it's like these guys. Yes, well, not yesterday. This week, you know, these guys was talking about this shit. Where you know where I be at, whatever you know, place of business, whatever, and um, and they was just talking about this shit. You know how men. And you know certain um, uh, artists, mm -hmm. they make music. Some artists don't blow as big because they only make their music for a certain genre of people. But Kanye, Beyonce, they make music for 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 the world. You know, when in all reality, it's 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 the it's these elites, Esau, that which has the system that can you know have them rise or fall or fall you know it's not even according to record sales and all that but jake is still blinded they believe in hope in this stupid rap world you know in all reality it's it's the elites controlling the system if they want this person to be the top dog to be the you know basically why because he is an influencer you know he, he's going along with the uh agenda you know and the music plays a big factor and if he could Manipulate and deceive masses of people by music. Oh, they for that shit, man. All right, they for it. So they will put him up as the number one artist, the best artist in the world. Whoop de woo, whoop de woo. That's all it is. You know. That's why all these celebrities gotta sell their soul. But niggas don't want to talk about that because that's a little too spooky. Oh man, here he go. Here he go. First thing they say, here he go. Oh man, now I ain't trying to get on all that Illuminati shit, man. Lee, mix me with that. Because niggas can't see, niggas can't understand that this thing is spiritual. That's why the Lord gave them eyes that they shouldn't see and ears that they shouldn't hear till this day. All right? Because this truth is for the elect. All right? And um, Kanye, you know, is profiting off these churches because it's a win win situation. Okay? They're using him. In my opinion they're using him and he's making money off of it man you know and uh it's also a, a help to the so-called government churches wherever he go to because it's reviving the church the mega churches and things like that you know but they're treating this man like he's god and he's got an album coming out which i guess is called jesus is king all right album release which he held back but i ain't here to sponsor and say all that i'm just gonna uh i'm just trying to edify and um the situation this whole point but anyway you know, he is profiting and um, I'm going to read a scripture and I'm going to leave it with that. This is Matthew chapter 21 and 12. It says, and Yahweh Shai went into the temple of Yahweh and cast out all them that sold and brought in the temple and overthrew the tables of money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer. But ye have made it a den of thieves. And that's exactly what Kanye is doing because these stupid ass government churches with you blacks and Latinos in them, okay, being a black Baptist, Pentecost, Jehovah's Wickedness. Well, ma major, the major, ma major, major churches, you know, especially the black churches, it's all about dancing. It's all about music. It's not a place of prayer. It's not a place where you meditate. And then two is all lies because who you praying to is Jesus Christ. What the fuck is Jesus Christ? All right. First off, our Lord wasn't an Edomite. Our Lord didn't have leprosy. Okay. He didn't have stringy dog hair. 
So it's all lies anyway. But they're profiting. Okay? They're profiting off of uh the vibration of Yahweh Shah, period. Even though it's a false god, but they're profiting. All right, and they're making mer uh, merchant. You know, of course, I'm pretty sure when he come, it's, it's selling out. You know, the church is a winning. Because, hey, more people gonna go to the church because Kanye West was there. You see how it's a win-win for uh, you know, for Kanye and, and the churches. You know, to revive the church to bring more members and Kanye West there. It's like a damn concert, man. And I remember it was one video. I think the apostles was showing and or brothers was showing. Where he was standing on stage, bopping his head, you know, like like he in a fucking studio. When you're supposed to be praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, but you're praising Satan. And um, this is the words of the Lord, written in red, which I'll read again, verse 13, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer. Alright? But ye have made it a den of thieves. Alright? So, hey, the Lord was angry. When he went inside a temple and he saw these men making merchant of the Lord, you know, made it a house of a made it a, made it a marketplace inside the Lord's house. Okay, you're supposed to give honor and glory and all praises to the Most High and His Son. All right, and that's why the Lord, like I said, uh, reading 12 again, and Yahweh Shai went into the temple of Yahweh and cast out all them that sold and brought in the temple, meaning he was grabbing their asses up and tossing their asses out, man. You know, if he had to punch a nigga out, he was punching a nigga out too. It says, and overthrew the tables and money changes. Meaning the Lord was mad, man. You know, he, he overthrew the tables, threw them, you know, shit fell on the floor. All right. It says, and seats, in, uh, and seats of them that sold doves. Because the Lord was angry with that shit. But, you know, they would never speak this on no breakfast club, especially with no Charlemagne, even though he knows that. Uh, he's an Israelite But they still hoping on Banking on the multitude You know to win You know the multitude Because niggas follow the multitude And the scriptures say Follow not the multitude to do evil A lot of you folks You know that you're an Israelite You listen in You secretly watch And you get understanding And you know But you're in denial Because the multitude is not for it You know Well guess what The Lord said that uh, his, uh, his elect is a small remnant So guess what Stay blinded You know you're going to be, hey, you're just going to hear this, con you're going to get condemned, you're going to be reproved and corrected, man, and judged by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai when that time come, you know? So, uh, you know, that's it, man. Uh, with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.